the Halloween movies. No, I'm not talking about the old ones, the old original ones. Nor am I talking about the Rob Zombie ones. No, I'm talking about the newer ones. You know, like the one that stuck, came out in 2018. It was called Halloween. It was really good. It was really great. You know, it was the final, it was the actual return of Michael Myers after all these years. And it was amazing. And I really, really loved it. And then they made the second one called Halloween Kills. And some people said that that one was kind of a, a hit or miss, you know. And even with that, I still genuinely liked it and enjoyed it for what it was. And I thought it was pretty good, you know. But then along came the third one, the final one. Halloween Ends. Yeah. And that's the one I'm going to talk about actually and if you 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 see the name or hear the name Halloween ends you're gonna you're thinking oh it's you know you're expecting an actual final confrontation between Lo Laurie Strode and Michael Myers you know they've been you know, fighting and trying to kill each other through this, both of those two previous movies, you know, and you think, you see the name, he's seeing here the name Halloween Ends, you think, oh, it's finally going to be the final confrontation between them, and maybe it will end up being the f actual final end to Michael Myers. At least that's what everyone was expecting, and I was expecting as well. But what did we get instead? We got Pointless shit the entire plot of Halloween ends focuses on this brand new character that came out of nowhere that's completely unrelated to the previous two films you know and he's suddenly the main character and main focus and the, the one character we should all care about and focus on and it's like I yeah I don't know like who the fuck are you why the fuck are you in this movie but yeah later on he inserts himself into the you know actual main cast of characters from the previous movies you know, by starting a completely fucking unnecessary and completely uncomfortable, honestly, romance with one of the main characters, Laurie Strode's granddaughter. Yeah, they start, you know, dating and falling in love with each other for some fucking reason. And it's just honestly hard to fucking watch. Because it's just fucking... Unnecessary and completely fucking uncomfortable. At least to me. But yeah. And also, later on, he... Crosses paths with... Michael Myers himself. And, you know... And weirdly starts to... Start... Weirdly tries to... Start some sort of... Protégé thing with Michael Myers. You know, he... Wants Michael Myers to be his teacher and, and you know, killing people or whatever. Because I guess this guy really wants to be a serial killer or wants to... Really, really wants to be the next Michael Myers for some reason. And so he, like, coerces or kind of forces Michael Myers to, you know, teach him how to kill. You know, teach him how to, you know do what Michael Myers does. 
and be like Michael Myers. And honestly, Michael doesn't even really seem that interested in doing it. Kind of like this, this new character kind of forces, you know, or coerces him to do it half the time, you know, to teach him or whatever about killing people. He just seems, Michael just seems honestly disinterested in doing it and being a teacher or or whatever, and having this some sort of this weird protege thing, relationship, whatever you want to call it, and it's just like yeah, it's like fucking stupid. Like, bro, you're not the next Michael Myers. I don't care how much you want to be, and you know, trying to buddy buddy up with Michael Myers and try to force him into some sort of weird protege relationship, teacher, student, whatever type of thing. Isn't gonna make you the next Michael Myers. And I, honestly I think maybe that's what the people who made this movie were trying to do. They were trying to like turn this brand new fucking main character that we're supposed to care about into the next Michael Myers. It seems like that's what they were fucking trying to do. I mean, even if that would be an interesting idea, like, you know, maybe Michael teaching someone how to kill or something, maybe that would be a, an interesting idea. It doesn't work because, like I said, Michael isn't fucking interested in it. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to really do it. kind of just does it just because he's kind of forced and coerced by this fucking stupid, unnecessary, main, brand new character that comes along. And honestly, all of this entire, all that, we're focusing on all the unnecessary fucking protege, protege shit with Michael Myers, all the unnecessary romance with Laurie, Laurie Strode's granddaughter and all the other necessary shit in the movie doesn't really do anything. It goes nowhere. Because guess what? Spoilers! This sudden new main character that they introduced dies. Gets killed. And no, it's not by Michael Myers. <laughs> Unfortunately. You know, the entire time while they were, you know, interacting with each other and he was fucking forcing Michael to be some sort of teacher or something. I was really wanting Michael just to snap and fucking kill this brand new main character. Just because it was this... He was just fucking completely stupid, annoying, and fucking unnecessary. But yeah. Yeah, then the sudden new main character that we're supposed to care about dies. It's like, what was the fucking point of all that? Why were you trying to fucking turn him into the next Michael Myers when he was just going to end up dying? Like, what was the fucking point? Like I said, maybe that would have been an interesting idea. You know, a new Michael Myers, you know, that was basically, you know, taught by the original Michael Myers. Maybe that would have been an interesting idea if Michael was actually interested in that. But he wasn't. Like I said. And, yeah, it was just fucking pointless. But, yeah. Eventually, eventually, near the end of the movie, we finally get what we were expecting. You know, an actual final confrontation between Laurie Strode and, and Michael Myers. And an, an actual end to Michael Myers himself. And we finally do get that, and it's cool. It's, you know, it's everything that we were, everyone was wanting and expecting from this. But, but it happened near the end. Like, what? Like, I'm glad we finally got it, but what was the fucking point of the entire majority of, or more than the the majority of the fucking rest of the film what was the point of that. Like it was this fucking 99% fucking pointless fucking shit. 
and 1% fucking Michael Myers that we actually wanted, you know. It was 99% pointless shit and 1% shit that we actually were wanting and expecting. It was like, yeah. Honestly, it was a fucking, a disappointing fucking in to the Halloween franchise. Because, yeah, that is the final one. That's going to be the final one. That's the end. And it's a disappointing fucking end. Like, yeah, it, we had some, we had a cool fucking ending. But a cool fucking ending does not make up for the fucking pointless fucking shit we had to go through the, through the majority of the fucking movie. But, yeah. It was a disappointing end to the Halloween franchise. But unless they reboot or remake the originals, you know, the original old ones, which I don't think they should do, but because I think the originals are perfect the way they are, but that's just me. But, yeah. Anyways, Halloween ends is... A disappointing fucking end. A disappointing fucking movie. A pointless, disappointing fucking movie.